winner in Bloomfield and Anka. You know what, let me just share quickly with the audience. The crowd here is so savvy. Someone was asking for the point standings before the final race. The crowd said, no, let them race. On their marks for the final event of Set. Champs 2016. Away they go. Greater Portmore, Spalding, Kingston College, Calabar, St. Jago, Jamaica College, Monroe, and Edwin Alley have gone out very quickly on the outside in lane eight. St. Jago in that yellow strip in the middle of the track going well too. Anthony Carpenter gradually builds over that first 200 in the green and black for Calabar with Jamaica College trying to go strongly. Mark Adunancing will cut forward for Kingston College. He fourth in the 400 final class one today and he steps forward with Edwin Allen on the outside. St. Jaco really going strongly on this first leg. Carpenter pulling forward for Calabar now. That's a good first leg run. Let's see who's gonna hand over first. Calabar maybe just ahead of St. Jaco and these two are away. Kingston College in second, in third spot. Let's see how they set it down the back straight away. It's Calabar. This looks like Akeem Francis in the 400 herders final last night. Also third in the 400 final today. That was a massive performance. Edwin Allen in second and St. Jaco back in third spot. Jamaica College fourth, Kingston College fifth. Akeem Bloomfield will have a lot of work to do if it remains this way, and I believe he will deliver big time for Casey if he's challenged. The 400 bronze medalist is pouring it on for Calabar down the home straight away. The record holders and champions of the boys' side for 2016 with the lead. Brandon Heath, the class 2 400 silver medalist, has the baton, and Kingston College in second spot. Looks like Deshaun Morris, he is the character on the 18 400 gold medalist. Brandon Heath is flying down the back straight away. St. Jago going in chase now. They want a piece of the lead with Jamaica College. Looks like the boy Baker running for Jamaica College. They're in fourth. And Calabar in front. Christopher Taylor looks as if he's going to have the lead over Akeem Bloomfield on this anchor leg. Look at the boy Baker come forward. KC in a spot of bother. Calabar. The boy Baker runs a stunning anchor leg. Calabar ahead of Jamaica College. Here's the final change. The crowd will stand because this is what they've been waiting for. Christopher Taylor has the baton. Akeem Bloomfield is back in third spot and he's gone out extremely oh. quickly. Flies by Jamaica College and will go after Christopher Taylor. Christopher Taylor has run so much at these championships. Look at Akeem Bloomfield go. Can Christopher Taylor respond to this assault? He quickens his steps down the back straight away. 200 meters to run. It's a key blue field. Here comes Christopher Taylor. This is what the stadium wanted to see tonight. And they've gotten it. A key blue field with the lead. Christopher Taylor steps forward. Bloomfield is trying to hold on. Here comes the world youth champion. Christopher <laughs> Taylor calls by a key blue field and wins the 4x4 for Colabar. It's a new record. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no not it's a not a new record, Bruce. It's not a new record. Oh, it's only 3 12, 58. Oh, okay. That's not even as fast as they ran in the heats. The clock stopped with about 20 meters to go. Kingston College beat that 4x4. Kingston College beat that champ. And there are your champions. <laughs> there they are. Calabar at 4x4. Calabar at champ 2016. Calabar high five. It's Red Hills Road. The color is green again. Calabar. Well, let me tell you. Whatever you paid to enter the national stadium, you got your money's worth. Whatever you paid to watch on one spot media, you just got your money's worth. The slits. 44 4 for Akeem Bloomfield, 45 2 for Christopher Taylor. But uh, Christopher Taylor didn't look as if he did a lot over the first 150 and uh, saved that for the uh, last 100. I think he knew <laughs> that Bloomfield was going to come at him. Absolutely. And so he saved a lot for that last one. 50. It was really a smart and mature run from that Calabar 16 year old. Hey,
way above his years, way above his years. Christopher Taylor sat and did an Ashley Williams on Akeem Bloomfield. You have to give it to Akeem Bloomfield. It was a really fine run. Anthony Carpenter on the first leg got things going really well for Calabar. Yes, he made it to the finals in the past one 400 meters, handed off, I would say first place. There you go, Carpenter handing off first. Akeem Francis, a massive surprise grant in the 400 because he'd done so much work, 400 hurdles, and it just didn't seem possible that he would medal, but he did. He certainly did, and Akeem Francis, the way the Calabar team ran it, they ran class one to class one to class two to class two brandon heath the class two silver medalist remember he was pulled along by christopher taylor then looking for that 16 points they got earlier today and Heath ran a very good third leg held the lead and then christopher taylor didn't have much to do well christopher taylor is jogging at this point christopher taylor has run 45 2. as soon as akeem bloomfield passed him he responds look at this look at the change of pace bloomfield did the only thing he did he could do which was to try a javon francis but look at this the stadium at this point is going absolutely crazy as the shorter younger smaller christopher taylor runs past the national junior record holder akeem bloomfield this is what champ's dream is made of this is what so many wanted to see yes one a close champs that hasn't materialized but then this is the consolation maybe this is even the main prize who knows well, for some of the fans if you didn't think he was special well he just showed you he is very special there he is on your screen christopher taylor the class two athletes two records of champs this year for that young man